Welcome to the class on a AC filters in HVDC system. In this class, we are going to discuss about the what are the different AC filters used in a HVDC system. We are using the three different types of AC filters: single tuned filter and double tuned filter and high pass filter. Again, high pass filter will be divided into two categories: second order filter and C type filter. First, we are going to see the single tuned filter. This is the circuit diagram of the single tuned filter. It is consisting a capacitor, inductor, and a resistance, which are connected in series. The variation of the impedance versus frequency. If you see for this filter means, at this value of frequency high impedance, and at this value of frequency low impedance, at this value of frequency again high impedance. So we are tuning this filter such a way that this frequency. Where the impedance is low, that is equal to the order of the harmonic filter, so that those frequency of the harmonics will be bypassed through this filter. Generally, it is used to filter the characteristic harmonics of a single harmonic. Double tuned filter. Double tuned filter means we are using the circuit to filter out the two harmonics with the two different frequencies. If you see the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram for the double tuned filter. It is consisting a capacitor, inductor, resistance. This is one branch. Again, here the two branches are there: capacitor and resistance, and inductance and the resistance. If we see the variation of the frequency versus the impedance of this filter, see at this value of frequency it has a low impedance, and at this value of frequency also it offers a low impedance. Nothing but a these two frequencies. If you are matching with the Harmonic frequencies means those harmonic of a particular frequency will be filtered out by means of this double tuned filter. The advantage of the double tuned filter is only one inductor is subjected to the full line voltage. The power losses at a fundamental frequency is reduced. In one filter, we can filter out the two harmonic frequencies by means of a double tuned filter. Second order high pass filter. This is the circuit diagram for the second order high pass filter. Here, this is the capacitor, this is the inductor and resistor. These two in parallel in series with the capacitors. It is designed to filter out the higher harmonics. The tuning of the filter is not critical. It is very easy. C type high pass filter. This is the circuit diagram for the C type high pass filter. This is the capacitor. Here, the second capacitor. Here, the inductor. These two in a series. Again, here the resistance is there. That is parallel to the series and capacitor branch. Again, the total thing is series with a in series with a capacitor C1. The losses in a fundamental frequency can be reduced by this filter. The C2 and L1 provides a low impedance to the fundamental component of the current. If we see the variation of the impedance of these two filters versus firing angle means, this is the variation of the Impedance of these two filters with by changing the frequency. A typical converter with a twelve pulse converter has a double tuned filter to filter out the eleventh and thirteenth harmonic, and high pass filter bank to filter out the rest of the harmonics. Sometimes third harmonic filter also is included to filter out the non characteristic harmonics of a third order. Factors considered in the design of a AC filter. Generally, how we are going to design the AC filter means the sum of the factors we are going to consider. That is the first one is the telephonic interference. How this telephonic interference is calculated means by means of two ways. The first one is d equal to sigma n equal to m i n z n e one into hundred. I n is nothing but a injection. Current of nth order, Z n is nothing but a impedance of the harmonic. M is nothing but a highest order of the harmonic that we can take from 49 to the 50. E one is nothing but a fundamental voltage between the phase and the neutral. The second definition, D R S S. This is one more definition that we are going to use to calculate the indexes for the telephonic interference. Sigma n equal to 2 to m i n z n square whole power 1 by 2 e 1 into 
Sometimes harmonic distortion is defined individually for the single harmonic that is D suffix n equal to in into zn by e into 100. This is the voltage drop across nth harmonic. This is the RMS voltage into 100. Telephonic influence factor. The telephonic influence factor is defined as sigma n equal to m in zn fn square whole power 1 by 2 divided by e1 into 100. Here already we know fn equal to 5n f1 pn where pn is the CE message waiting used by the bell telephone system in USA. This waiting reflects the frequency dependent sens sensitivity of a human ear has a maximum value at a frequency of 1000 Hz. Telephone harmonic form factor it is also similar to the TIFF. It is defined as Fn equal to n into F1 by 8000 into omega n where omega n is the phosphometric weight at harmonic order n. IT product. This is another index called IT product which is defined as sigma n equal to m i n z n square whole power 1 by 2. Heat product is defined as equal to IT nothing but this value divided by the 1000. The performance index how these values are selected means TIFF value ranging from 25 to 50, suggested value 35, KIT value 25 to 100, any value you can take it, DRSS 2 to 5, suggested value is 2, DN any range. Thank you very much for watching this video.